Hello and what is up guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to Spin Tires Mudrunner where we are going to be taking a look at a private mod built by Frog for someone named Cortex and it is a Land Cruiser J200. Now, this is a really interesting rig, it's got a uh, independent front suspension setup and it's actually not something you normally see in in Mudrunner, you don't really see vehicles of this type, which sort of, which are sort of like the newer big body SUVs with independent front suspension. A lot of people that play Mudrunner prefer either the older trucks or the bigger trucks, or if they're making crawlers, they prefer like solid axle converted coilover setups. This is a little bit different than that. So I brought it out here to Rock Island, and I want to see what it can do on a proper set of trails. Now, before I do that, I'm going to be running through the... Um, options for aftermarket uh, add-ons or trailers. We've got Frog's Custom Camper. We've got Frog's Custom Toy Hauler, which you guys have seen, but I'm just going to show you guys how it adapts to this particular rig. Um, we've also got the roof rack as well as the snorkel, which I'm going to be installing both of those. Now, without any further ado and without any more rambling, let's go ahead and get out on the trails and see what this thing is all about. Wow, oh, it's got like a proper interior too. That's really cool. All right, I'm going to be going ahead and filling her up. And now, we're going to be going ahead and jumping out on the trails. So, I haven't gone this way yet. I've gone up that crazy thing, and I've gone down the left side trail too. But I haven't gone straight on Rock Island, so I have absolutely no idea what I'm getting myself into, or if I'm going in over my head with this vehicle, which I probably am for this map. This thing is probably not equipped for this, but I've thrown it into the deep end, and I just want to see what it can do. And actually, already, we're not doing too, too badly. She's, whoa. Oh, she's still running. That's a big, like, that's, that's a big deal. The fact that I, like, I sent it in at that crazy of an angle and it's still running. Now, can it drive out of that? Uh, probably not. I'm gonna pull the, try to pull the front end up a little bit. Yeah, okay, no, it was wedged in there bad. It might be able to get out of here on its own, though. The tires really aren't big enough for an obstacle like this. A little tiny pull of the winch. And that... Oh, no! We fell back down! No! Needed a little bit more than a tiny pull of the winch. We may be in over our heads on this map, and we may need to go somewhere a little more friendly, so bear with me while we do that. Welcome back, guys, and as you can see, we are now on Hometown Trailing, which I think will be a much better place to test this thing out than Rock Island. Rock Island is a little bit more for dedicated crawlers and buggies, whereas this is definitely something that you could see being driven on the road to a trail, you know, wheeling and camping over the weekend, and then driving back home again. So, I think the trails and obstacles that this map has to offer will definitely be a little bit better for this than, uh, than Rock Island. Now, some of the obstacles here are probably going to be a little bit too crazy for it, but I think all in all, it's a better choice of a map. So, let's see how she does in terms of flex. Not bad. We're at pretty much full flex at that point. I mean, we've already got a wheel off the ground, but let's try push it a little further just for testing purposes. It's not bad. It's really not bad, and it's not trying to flip over on me, which is, like, the big thing that I wanted to test out and see if it would or not. It's a good rig. It's definitely a fun rig, and it's one of the more realistic rigs that I've driven recently. So, we're gonna go ahead and hop right into this, this, uh, this mud run. See how it is in the mud. It's actually really good in the mud. Wow, alright. Hey, when it's not scraping the bumper, it's got awesome traction in the mud. Really digs in and just rips and goes. All right, let's see how you do on this frame twister, though. The frame twister is what can trip up a lot of these vehicles. So I'm throwing it in low three for this, and I'm going to go ahead and creep out onto the rocks. It's a little less intense than Rock Island, but not by much. There we go. Haven't quite had to winch yet, but you definitely have to plan out your line very early in advance. I'm trying to, like, straddle that notch there. Uh-oh. Put myself in a bit of a... Bit of a sticky situation. 
Problem is that huge bull bar up front, I mean, is getting caught on everything. And, I mean, that's, like, as it would. Oh, there we go, though. Oh, we're hung up on the slider. Yep, we're hung up on the rock slider. There's not much I can do there. There's very little that I can do there. That is most likely going to be a winchy boy. Yep. And again, my big fears with this thing for what it would get stuck on would be A, the massive bull bar, and, and B, the rock sliders because the tires aren't actually that big and it's still kind of low to the ground in the grand scheme of Mudrunner vehicles. So... I'm sure I also need to adapt my driving to it, too. But, and I'm definitely going to put part of the blame on that, but not all of it. Because this thing is definitely a little bit low in the grand scheme of what you would normally take through here. Don't high center. Ah, don't high center. Come on. Oh, it pretty much is. Yeah, it pretty much is. I am not excited for the tires. The tires are probably going to kill this thing. Not going to lie. Whoa, it's hung on the bumper there too. Oh, it's hung on the front and back bumpers. Not much I could do with that, really. Had to unstick the rear bumper before I could unstick the front bumper. Everything was getting stuck. Yeah, literally everything was getting stuck. Yo, that worked! Oh my god! Wow, okay, I mean, hey, if it works, it works. I was not expecting that to work. That was like a final effort type thing. Like, I was not expecting that to work. I was actually kind of expecting us to flip. But no, it actually panned out and came through. Although I will say, when you drive it, it feels like that bumper is like a foot long. Because it literally hits everything before your tires do. You have to approach stuff like this at such weird angles to actually get the front axle to go up. Now, is it challenging? Yes. Is it is it a fun challenge? Yes. Is it a challenge that everybody's going to like? No. So, I mean... That, I'm sure, I'm sure that, like, you know, Cortex knew he was in for that, but, I mean, I guess if you had just anybody drive this, they would probably get super frustrated with it super fast. That's not, like, a dig against the vehicle or anything, but just kind of an observation. You can see the suspension working, though, as you walk, walk it down that hill. Definitely, like, when it comes to IFS, it's definitely a flexi boy. Nice thing about it, too, is that you can get it into high really quickly there in the coal chute because it's, like, it's got great grip in the mud and high. Will it make the street jump? Is it fast enough? Eh, not quite. It's not bad, but not quite. Ooh, is the swamp gonna, like, gonna bury it in high? No! No, it's not. Wow! This thing is honestly doing better in the mud than anywhere else, which is kind of surprising, but I'm not mad about it. I'm definitely very okay with it. Like, it's a great rig, and it performs very, very, very well, but, like, wow, I I did not expect it to be anywhere near that good in the mud. I expected the mud to be its worst area. And as to be expected, the tires really, really just kill it. It just can't. With that big bumper, it just... It just can't. I mean... It's one of those things where... Oh, crap. That's annoying. Uh, let's go... You know what? Just to basically recover it back to where we started, I'm going to actually restart. But let's actually see if we can go to any other areas where this thing might actually do really well. Because I have a feeling that... I mean, yes, just because it's not the greatest at crawling, that doesn't mean that it's not good at... That not good at something... And I definitely get the vibe that it's meant to be more of a support vehicle than anything else, you know what I mean? This little runway is cool, but, like, the interesting thing about it is that, I mean, you could have drag races down it, sure, but, like, it literally just cuts off. It stops. And then on the other side of this hill, you don't really have, you don't really have all that much. I mean, you just kind of have another trail. 
But, ooh, a little rock climb there. That's cool. Wonder if we can do that without getting hung up. Hey, it's really good in high. It doesn't it doesn't mind being put in Tomcat gear from time to time. It really does not mind. Oh, oh god. Oh, 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 yep. Yep, it's all in the line. It is all in the line. But if I could get it to like just readjust. Oh god, readjust, readjust. Bring that front end around. That might be the ticket if we don't flip it over. Oh, dude, that... Oh, man. That was going to be the ticket. It really was. That was so going to be the ticket. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, come on, man. God, we are so close. Uh-oh. Uh, unorthodox line, but hey, unorthodox line for the win. I'll take it. It definitely makes you think about the lines you take in a different way. And I'm actually starting to have more fun with it now than I was earlier because it's a bit of a challenge. I mean... It's a bit of a challenge, but it's not like a frustrating one. It's actually sort of a welcome one because it feels more like, in a way, in a way, it feels more like the vehicles that came with the game in the first place. And so you feel like, yes, the challenge did get turned up a bit, but not in a bad way, per se. I mean, there are areas where you're going to have to use the winch, and that's just how it is. But that's also just how it is in real life. There are some areas in real life where you just have to use the winch. And yeah, some vehicles have shortcomings, but not everything is just a mega overpowered crawler that's just going to rampage its way over everything. You know, like not, that's not how every rig is. And I think oftentimes we sometimes lose that because so many, you know, so many times we see crazy overpowered, like, you know, crawlers or carts or whatever, and people automatically assume that that's like the norm. But a lot of people that go wheeling, go wheeling and stuff like this. What up? It is fun to just bomb it around in here, though. Super fun. Because it's actually got, like, a pretty good, like, uh, a pretty good amount of balance. It doesn't really roll over all that quickly. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Yeah, no, it's a fun rig to bomb around in, and I really, really like it. I really dig it, and I think they did a good job. I mean, I know it's very different from the norm, and it's not, like, what you would normally think of. It's not what you would normally think of, you know, uh, in terms of, like, Mudrunner mods, I guess. But I wanted to show it because I thought it would be a little bit of a, like, you could sort of, like, mix it up. Sort of like the patrol that I showed uh, a few days ago. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. And if you're new around here, hit that subscription button and hit that bell as well. And I will see y'all in the next one. Talk to you guys later.